Find the derivative of y equals x squared times log e of x, and hence find the integral or antiderivative of x log e of x with respect to x. So first of all, if we want to find the derivative of this function, we notice that two functions are being multiplied together. So we can use the product rule for differentiation. And to help apply the product rule, out to the side here, I'm going to let u equal the first function that's being multiplied, which is x squared. And then v is going to equal the second function that's being multiplied. So that's log e of x. And then we need to calculate the derivative du dx, which is simply going to equal 2x. And we also need to calculate dv dx, which is going to equal 1 over x. So you could use your formula sheet to help find those derivatives. And then also on the formula sheet is the product rule, which says that the derivative d dx of a function u multiplied by v is equal to u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So therefore, the derivative we are asked to calculate, which is dy dx, is going to equal the function u, which is x squared, times dv dx, which is 1 on x, plus v, which we know is log e of x, times du dx, which is 2x. And now we're just going to clean this up slightly. So x squared times 1 over x is the same as x squared over x, which cancels to just give x. And then we have plus, and the second term is going to be 2x log e of x. So that is the derivative that we were asked to calculate to start with. And now this word hence is inviting us to use this information to find the antiderivative of x log e of x. So the process that we're actually going through is integration by recognition. So to help organize our thoughts for the next part of this process, we're going to start with a statement. And the statement is relating the derivative that we just found. So the way that we're going to write it is that the derivative d dx of the function x squared log e of x is equal to this expression that we just found above. So that is x plus 2 times x log e of x. And I've just colored this in purple to match with what we're being asked to find in the question so that we can track that through our working. So now the good thing here is because we have an equal statement, that means that we could integrate both sides of this with respect to x and we would still get an equals statement. So for our next line of working, the integral of a derivative, we know they are opposite operations, so they will undo each other. So we'll just be left with x squared times log e of x on the left hand side is equal to the integral of x dx. And we're going to split up this integral over the addition sign, which is something we're allowed to do. And then we're going to have plus two times the integral that we're interested in, which is x times log e of x with respect to x. And now our job is simply to get this integral by itself. So next up, we could write that x squared times log e of x is equal to, and the integral of x with respect to x is x squared over two. And then we still have plus two lots of the integral that we're asked to calculate, which is x log e of x dx. And because we performed integration or anti-differentiation, we need to add on a constant of integration plus c. And now we continue to manipulate this equal statement to get the integral of x log e of x dx by itself. So we can start by subtracting x squared over two from both sides. So we find that x squared log e of x minus x squared over two and then we could subtract away the c, but that could just become a second different constant. So that could be constant one, and then constant two can be now written on this side as plus c2. And that is going to equal two times the integral x log e of x. So in our final step of working to get the integral of x log e of x by itself, we're going to divide both sides of this equation by two. So that gives us the, the integral of x times log e of x with respect to x is equal to x squared and dividing by two, I can write it as x squared on two times log e of x minus x squared 
on 2 and dividing that by 2 will give x squared on 4. And then we'll have plus a constant still, and it's slightly different, it's c2 halved, which I can just write as constant 3. So this is the integral that we were asked to find in the question.